Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with another mastery challenge walkthrough. This one is for Lollenstone Bandit Camp, the trial of the bear. My approach may be easier than others you've seen since I'm only using Kick of Tear. I am not using the Harpoon Impalement ability, which I find to be a bit unpredictable and hard to control. And for walkthroughs of the other trials, see my playlist linked on screen and in the description below. And subscribe to my channel to get my latest guides as I create them. To get a perfect score and earn a gold medal in this trial, you'll need to kill nine enemies using fire damage, five enemies using fall damage, and parry 12 times. In addition to killing the, the Goliath mini boss at the end. So as you can see, my strategy is to get the guard's attention and then run here into the fire area and parry as much as I can. To get those parries out of the way as quickly as possible and also to hopefully stun the enemy so that I can pick them up and put them into the fire to get a fire damage kill. So even though I don't have a shield in my offhand, I can still parry. And then the other thing I can do with my offhand is use that skill that has a chance to refill my health as well. So later you'll see me when I'm getting low on health just doing a left hand attack to try to trigger that health refill. Right here I'm just trying to lure the enemy into the flames <laughs> and I have succeeded to get two fire damage kills as well as several parries. And I'm just waiting for this enemy to die before I go attract the attention of the other guards in this first area. I'm going to repeat the same strategy of getting the attention of the other guards and then returning to this exact spot and using the same approach on them. On the way I'm going to fill up my adrenaline. Of course you could stay here and lure them into these flames, but I kind of like this area over here. There's definitely multiple ways you can complete these trials. And it will vary every time because you don't know when the diamond runes are going to trigger. Oh, there it is. The major rune on this hammer is the one that has a chance to create a small fire on parry. So there's no way to know for sure when that'll perk. And the Icons right above my adrenaline bar that show when my runes have perked are bugged out right now and not working for me. I made a whole video about that. So I'm trying to block these skirmishers, which I'm actually not super good at. As you can see, I missed the blocks a few times, but eventually I got this one. I'm going to carry him into the fire. Luckily, his companion there doesn't attack me while I'm doing it. And I am taking some fire damage, but I am also refilling my health as I go along by using that offhand attack and also looting the dead bodies. So it's okay to take a little bit of fire damage in order to get the enemies to follow you. Next, I'm going to go over to the other area and take care of three of my five fall damage kills. There's three guards on the platforms here. I'm going to use Kick of Tear to get all three of them. Conveniently, there's mushrooms where I can refill my adrenaline. And then in the next area, there'll be archers 
on the platforms. So since I've already killed three guards via fall damage, I only need to kill two in this other section. And my approach here is to go onto the rope just a little bit to kind of get them to line up and try shooting at me. And then I jump off, go back up the stairs, come behind them and use kick of tear again to kick them off the platform. And there, my fall damage kills are complete. And so now I'm gonna try to lure as many of these as possible into the fire while also getting parries. Well, I can't get a parry against the archers, but against the melee fighters I can. I don't know about you, but I'm much better at blocking the sword than I am the mace. And I'm not using the harpoon because I find it kind of unpredictable and hard to control. So, but if you're good with that, you can use that of course, as well. I'm running dangerously low on health here, but uh, luckily I was able to loot that dead body to get back my health. And I actually meant to knock him off. I was hoping to knock him into the fire. It didn't exactly work, but I was able to stun him and move him into the fire here anyway. I'm gonna wait for him to die and collect mushrooms to refill my adrenaline before I go to the final area of this trial. And I have some parries left. And I only have to kill two of the three enemies in the next area using fire damage. I only have two of my nine fire damage kills remaining, which is good. So my strategy here is to use kick of tear initially on this Goliath to get him out of the way. But I don't want to kill him till last because if I kill him, the trial will end. So I'm going to go over to these other enemies and try to get the rest of my parries completed. And also my two fire damage kills. So my parries are complete. You can see it got removed from the list in the upper left. And I've got one of the fire damage kills I need. And let's see if I can get one more on this guy. I'm using the offhand fist attack, so basically punching him into the fire. And it looked like it worked. So now I just have to take out this Goliath any way I want, and I'm going to use Kick of Tear. If you still needed a fire damage kill, then you could kick him into the fire or use the harpoon. But I'm just going to use my stomp and melee to... Oh, he got one. <laughs> he got one throw on me before I could get him. But now he's down. And I've completed the trial with a perfect score of 1,000 for the gold medal. This is Amber, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.